section here and a section which is a semicircle. The radius is R. This is a small cross section, so so we can just take you know there is this is very small and this is very small here, the cross section. So the radius R we can just take it to the center or to here, it doesn't make much difference because of the smallness of this. So we have a, it's a semicircle of radius R and there's a straight section. We, now we put a source on one end, a source of sound here, and a sound detector on the other end. Now this source emits waves with wavelength lambda equals 0 0.57 meters. And there's a detector D here. What is the minimum value of R for which the sound intensity at the detector is a minimum? So now, how could it be a minimum here? Why would it be a minimum? A lot to begin with. The point is that sound here can propagate from the source directly to the detector. So there's one path for the sound to go directly to the detector. But there's another path also. Sound can go this way and get to the detector. So when sound reaches a detector, there are two different paths that are followed. One path is straight, one path is along the semicircle. Now those two paths have not the same length. So there's a difference in the path length. So what is D2 minus D1? What's the difference in the path length of these two routes, these two alternative routes that through which the sound wave can reach the detector? Clearly, well, up to here and from here on, it's the same whether it's either one. So the difference has to do with the fact that one way sound goes along the diameter, whereas in the other way the sound goes along the semicircle. So this wave here travels, while this wave travels a distance, pi r, the other wave travels a distance which is equal to the diameter which is 2r. So pi r minus 2r is a path difference. Now, this path difference, if it's equal to lambda over 2, I get destructive interference. Or if it's equal to 3 lambda over 2, I get destructive interference. Or 5 lambda over 2, I get destructive interference. So. So to get destructive interference, I need this path difference, which is r into pi minus 2 to be this, either lambda over 2 or 3 lambda over 2. So to get the minimum value of r, I take it to be lambda over 2. If I take it 3 lambda over 2, that will be a larger value. That will give me a larger value for r. So R is this, which means that R is lambda over 2, lambda over 2 over pi over 2, so pi, pi minus 2. So lambda is 0 0.57 divided by 2, and this is 3.14 
minus 2. So that gives me 0 0.57 over 3.14 minus 2, that's 1.14, times 2, that's 2.28, and this is 0 0.25 meters. So the minimum radius is 0 0.25 meters to give destructive interference at the detector. Thank you for watching.